Dave Borlay, Mad Max here for Muscle Beach TV, brought to you by Digital Muscle. And today I have the great pleasure to have my good friend, Hide Tadaya Migeshi. Hide, welcome to Muscle Beach TV, my friend. Thank you. Glad to be back in Venice. Feel great. I know it's been a while since we saw you, man. I'm glad I caught you because uh, I wanted to get with you to do some videos leading up to the Olympia and, and uh, you know, like we, we, we usually do. Uh, so you gave me some scoops uh, last week that I was uh, not prepared for. No Olympia for the Dragon in 2017. Yes, I mean, uh, after last Arnold, well, I didn't do well and uh, in Olympia. I didn't also didn't do well, so uh, two shows in a row, I didn't really, you know, do what we are we expected. So uh, this time around, I just sit back, you know, uh, just really relax and uh, you know get back. I mean, uh, I love this sports, and uh, of course Olympia, Arnold, is pre pre you know previous stage. I always want to compete. I've been competing Olympia since 2007, yeah. and uh, only. Only two times I missed, you know, then other than that, I just kept competing. So uh, it's sad, but, uh, you know, sometimes I've been doing, I've been pro for uh, since uh, 2005. So uh, it's been 12 years. Wow. Then uh, sometimes you got to sit back and, uh, you know, like, you know, why you want to do shows? You, you know, last couple of shows, maybe I just did a show because just because, you know. I kind of feel like I, I was losing my, not passion but the desire to compete. Really. I still like training and everything, you know, stuff. But uh, competing, you know how it is. Uh, it takes a lot, you know. So last couple of shows, I of course I was focusing and I, I, I thought I put everything in in it into it. But uh, you know, I I w I used to be more, like, I don't know how you say it, more into it. Really? But last two show, I I don't know, I I wasn't like that. So, uh, this I think it's time to get, you know, sit back and uh, reevaluate, uh, yeah, reevaluate everything. And uh, I w I just wanna get back the desire to compete. Yeah, sometimes being away from what you loved in the first place makes you miss it. If you never step back and you never take a break, I guess you never get the chance to miss it. Maybe that's what you need. Right, right. Then uh, it, it actually walking. I'm. You know, I'm more enjoying, you know, all these stuff, training and everything. Of course, dieting is really relaxed, but, uh, you know, like uh, after in the after Arnold, I have, a, I mean, I've been having shoulder issue for a long time. Rotator cuff. Rotator cuff issue. Yeah. Then uh, it's getting worse. So that's another reason I take take a break. And yeah. uh, it's actually, I I haven't trained probably like two months. I was, uh, I was you know, playing around in the gym, but I had not really really training you Hardcore know then training. i just yeah i just came back a couple of weeks and uh, i start feeling already great you know so uh so it, it did good for your body to take a break for a couple of months right yeah. mentally and physically yes it's it's actually definitely i need it it's funny that you said that about the last two contests because i remember we we shot you know before the arnold before the like we always do and to me it looked like you actually had made some good progress things were really going well and even I remember you even telling me this is like I'm actually uh, towards the end uh, feeling like I'm prepping and it's not so hard as it was before because you we were trying some new things and stuff do you think that maybe towards the end this is where something uh, d goes wrong or it's not because leading up to the contest you always think to me like you're gonna win it always looks to me like you're making progress things are improving it's not like you're you know stand still or even going backwards do you think it's maybe the last few days slash weeks that's it gets harder or well the, it's always issue uh since i switched to 12 so weight class is very dif difficult but uh, you know all of them same have same issue you know Frex and uh, jose they all, all we all struggle weight but to me i s think i think about it then uh i switch to 212 2014 okay then uh since then i can may or maybe count only a couple few shows I I I can say I really succeeded which you know the one is one was obviously the Arnold Classic I, which I won yeah but other than that I don't really remember you know the the f you know I made weight of course I made weight but yeah. uh, I don't really remember if I liked my feet <laughs> you know because it's, it's it's I I tend to be always flat you know so 
that's a good point. I remember we were talking uh, before this interview, and you actually mentioned that. And you said, since I switched to 212, now that there's a weight limit that I have to <laughs> adhere by, it's an added stress to the prep because now you have to get down to the 212. And sometimes you may sacrifice muscle, you may sacrifice fullness. So you get to make the weight, but is it really your best look? Probably not. Whereas when you were in the open, you didn't care about that. All you want to do is to be as good as possible, as big as you could, as lean as you could. And so it's an added stress to, uh, to compete in the 212 for you. Well, that's, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's 212. You got to deal with all, all yeah. of this. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't regret or nothing, but, uh, but, but just me, <laughs> I can I never really succeeded, you know, it's tough. so, uh, it's yeah. of course tough, but uh, all these guys deal, dealing with same, you know, same problem. So I have no problem, you know, doing, doing it, but uh, I know, but the difference, I think the difference is that when you were competing in the open, you were doing well also. You were placing high. I remember one year you broke your hand and you still placed fifth in the open at the Arnold Classic. Right, right. So uh, funny thing is weight-wise, it's not that much change. I was competing probably 215, you know, yeah. maybe a little, little less 220. Yeah. It's the same thing. I, I came back up, you know, in, even I was doing 212. I, I could, I probably competing around 215. So weight is same, almost same, yeah. but it looks different, you know. Maybe the stress to get down there. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I, I have no idea, but uh, you know, people thought I was way heavier before, but it, it, I wasn't actually. I was almost same weight, a little heavier, you know. Wow. But so, uh, but you know, looking back, I just, you know, like injury and uh, it's men mental, mentally. So uh, I just gonna sit back and uh, wait for next year. Yeah. But I mean, uh, now I, I feel like I want to compete again. So uh, <laughs> it's you're gonna be at the Olympia. You'll be like, oh man, I wish I was on that stage. Yeah. So that that that's what I actually wanted. So uh, yeah. it's been great. I mean, uh, no, no complaining. Let me ask you something. Would you consider going back to the Open, possibly, uh, if not the next show, maybe down the line? Yes, I, that's what actually I, I'm I'm thinking about it. You know, next year, uh, hopefully I'm old. Uh, if not something else, but I, w I want to do open. Yeah, I yes. think that's your place. You know, I think you were doing so well in the open. You were competitive. It's not like you were competing in the open. You were like seven, eight, nine. You know, you were placing in the top five a lot of times at a lot of shows. Um, and I think uh, that may be a better, I don't know, better fit for you. I don't know. You've tried the 212. You won an Arnold. You've done what you had to do. Maybe it's time to, you know, maybe it's time to uh, go back to where you belong. Right, right. So, uh, you know, I mean... Uh, uh, I have probably a couple more years. I don't know. I hope it's longer. You're still young. Look at Dexter, 48, still competing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Dexter is a great example. But you know, I, I don't know how many more years I am gonna compete, and uh, I wanna do something I really wanna do. So yeah. I did a 212, and uh, yeah. it was great. I I won Arnold, which I really wanted yeah. for a long time. Yeah. So uh, now I I just wanna you know finish my career with something I, I just wanna enjoy you know? yeah one last thing before uh, before we part ways don't get away from me man <laughs> i see you like leaning over there uh your good friend uh silvio samuel just came back to the mecca you two were training in 2007 when you did your debut and started doing so well here at milos's gym in coliseum you were training together you were posing together you're always straight together and you came up you know the pro uh, in the pro ranks you know together we're doing really well I uh, finally came back in the Mecca. You guys, you know, met uh, last week in the parking lot. How how is that to uh, see him after all these years? Man, I uh, I was surprised how how big he is. Huh? <laughs> he's huge. <laughs> yes, I mean uh, I know he's uh, he's a genetic freak. So uh, I kind of expect he, you know, even this long after this long, you know, without gym, he still look good. But he he looks really good. I mean, uh, so uh, he's gonna do show soon, yeah. and. Uh, I can tell, I mean, I, I can see he's going to do, he's going to surprise a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, wish him all the best. And, uh, you know, I, I, you know, between you and me, I mean, I know everything in there. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. You've been, you've been there. <laughs> yeah, I've been there. So uh, yeah. I know how hard it is. And uh, he, he came back and, uh, you know, the, he, he's already training here. And, uh, you know, after, outside the gym, it's hard, you know. Yeah. You've been out so long and uh, come back. You know, people look at you in a, in a certain way, but yeah. he's getting getting back. So uh, 
you know, I want you, you, you guys, all you guys, you know, wish him all the best and uh, support him. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's so great. It's uh, I would love to catch a workout between the two of you guys just for all time's sake. That would be awesome, actually, because uh, you guys go way back and you were like brothers, you know, back in the day. And and I'm really glad we have him back too. Does doesn't he look to you like he hasn't aged at all? His face is yeah. like the same. Yeah, oh, I could be really old. I could be really old if I if I was in that in the, that long. It's yeah. stressful. It's, yeah. it's you know it's I can yeah, but he's he's good. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Hide. Thank you for all these feedback. Um, have fun at the Olympia, even though you're not going to be on stage. We're going to miss you. But I know we'll see you back again. This is not the end. It's just a vacation for you, right? right, right yeah, and then right. we're going to see you soon. Yeah, we're doing uh, pretty good in the Body Cafe. And I, oh, yes, uh, that's I'll, right. I'll be in Body Cafe in, uh, of course, Olympia weekend. So I'll see you guys all there. Okay. All right. Well, it's Dave Borlet for Muscle Beach TV, hosted uh, by Digital, uh, Digital Muscle and uh, this was Hiri Yamagishi, and we're out.